All right, A360 Drive. Now, A360 Drive is Autodesk's solution for cloud storage and file sharing. It's also a very good CAD viewer. You can back up and synchronize to your desktop. So you'll have a folder somewhere, and whatever's in the folder will also show up in your A360 Drive account on the web. And also, you can access these design files from anywhere as long as you've got an internet connection. It's similar to Dropbox, but on steroids. So you need to have an A360 driver account to sign up or sign in. As soon as you've signed in, you'll notice that on the left-hand side, this will all be blank. And you'll also notice that if you're an Autodesk subscriber, you get 25 gig free storage. And if you're non-subscriber with your own personal email address, you'll get five gigabyte of storage. So to start off, you simply just click upload and go and choose various files off your system. You might also click on new folder to create a few project folders and then go and upload files into those folders. So you can now start uploading various file formats, things like Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, PowerPoints, PDFs, uh, JPEGs, DWG files, so it's not just CAD related. You'll also be allowed to view these files, things like Excel spreadsheets, MP4 video clips, PDFs, files captured using photogrammetry, 2D AutoCAD files, 3D SketchUp files, and even full 3D BIM models. All right, so after uploading and opening up a completed Revit project, these are the following things you can do inside A360 Drive. So on the left-hand side, we've got our viewing options. You'll notice how I can highlight the various categories. I can also look at my 2D sheets. Looking at the model itself, I now have my navigation tools down at the bottom, orbit, pan, zoom, and so forth. I also get the option of adding section cuts, uh, either in a plane or I can add a box. In this scenario, I'll just add a plane in the Z axis. So I'll be able to drag this up and down. I'll even be able to rotate this. I can also go over to a 2D view and go and measure. I also have the option of changing the units. When viewing the file in 3D, I also get the explode option. When selecting a specific object, I'll be able to see the BIM properties. And finally, I also have a few settings that I can change. Now, some of the main benefits here of keeping my file up on my A360 Drive account allows me to go and see the activities, when it's been viewed, when it's been uploaded or downloaded. I can also add comments for myself, or I can invite others to the file and I can see their comments. When I wanna invite other people, I go to share and I get two options. The first option is by getting the link. Now this will allow me to go and copy the link and I can email that to someone else. I will also allow them to either download the file or not. By copying the link and emailing that to someone, that allows people to click on the link and then open up Autodesk Free Viewer. That is not A360 Drive, but they will still be able to view the model, do their section cuts, measurements, and see the properties. The other option I get is to invite people to my file. This is the recommended option as I can now go and invite people and I can give them various permission levels. And when they do make comments to the project, it stays with this file. Your clients or your colleagues will need an A360 Drive account to be able to be invited to a project. Right guys, so it's pretty easy to see why this free online storage facility and CAD viewer is so popular.